Agder on Twitter. I am offering Brie Larson the opportunity to speak about these comments. Comments nearly 500,000 potential film reviewers would love to know more about. If she really doesn't hate white men, then she will grant me just 20 minutes via Skype. I'll work around her schedule. Jesus. S-I-M-P. Good call, uh, Miss Doctor, Mr. Phil. New video. He, this is in response to his video. Captain Marvel is not for white men, he called it. Please, re pre he's begging his fans, please share this. She says it's not for white men. Even publicly, she tries to say that she totally doesn't hate. Is this what we watched? Yeah. Because yeah. that's literally not even close to what happened in the video. Yep. He she's not. Even, she's talking about film reviewers, not He's audience not members. Straight, and she just is asking for more diversity. He she, he even she even publicly tries to say she totally doesn't hate white men, but her actions and words prove she's a sexist racist. Please share this. Bro, the fact that he tweeted at her is the most sad shit ever. And tagged her. 130 likes. Okay. This is when it takes a turn for, like, Bates Motel. Oh, no. This shit actually know. really disturbed me. Jeremy bought a shed with the money he made from all of his Brie Larson videos. He calls it the Brie Shed. Oh, I forgot about this. Dude, yeah, this isn't weird at all. But that's the thing, is that he's just like his audience, and they're they're all... They're, you realize they're all angry because they will never get... Oh, they, they just... They want to fuck her and they hate her. You know it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's a 12 by 12 shed. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. Of that, of course. You want to play the... He's pathetic. Video. So it's this video is called Brie Larson bought me something amazing. You dare with all the shit that's in this video, Jeremy, say that I'm bullying you. Here's the video. <laughs> this video slapped you around pretty good anyway in and of itself. Deservedly so. So obviously a lot of people gave me a lot of grief for making so many videos about Brie Larson. You know, the thing is that they didn't understand is that I'm a huge fan. Oh no, I couldn't tell. Tell me he has a dungeon dedicated. No, we're gonna have to watch, dude. I'm, I'm, we're going all in. It's what is only eleven. Bree knows I'm a huge fan, and that's why she sent me such a wonderful gift. Thank you, Bree. You know, a lot of people said, "Hey, you made twenty videos on Bree Larson. Are you now you made you obsessed?" No, 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 no. I was giving the people what they wanted, and because of that, look at what Bree sent me. A beautiful. Brie shed. Now I need to do a little bit of landscaping around the sides, which I'm hoping this Brie Larson film video will cover. But let's just do a little cribs tour of the wonderful Brie shed. Jesus Christ! Now, if you think now if this if you think this is reminiscent of a snuff film, just wait. I'd 100% be buying them like Pokemon cards and stuff like that because it's something I could enjoy with them You know Also, I would grade all their good shit for them Let them hold on to it until they're like 20 something and then they could probably fucking retire off the money See, Leon, the fact that you just said X and Y is the best Pokemon game shows you, like, the fucking power of that franchise. Because almost anyone my age would say, like, fucking X and Y is one of the worst. So, it just goes to show you that they've done a very good job of, throughout time, getting people to like not only the old Pokemon, but also the new. Red and blue are fucking terrible. 
Gen 1 is the most overrated Pokemon generation, hands fucking down. Gen 1 and Gen 2 are the some of the weakest fucking generations of Pokemon. I don't care. Like, I get, oh, they're the first generation, though. Nostalgia. But from a design standpoint, they're some of the worst. Gen 3 and 4 have far superior Pokemon. I think Gen 3 is objectively the best generation of Pokemon, but Gen 4 is a very close second. Gen 2 had like some of the worst starters ever. The only good one was for Alligator. No, I never said I don't like Dragonite. I just said that Gen 1 in general, I think, has a pretty weak lineup. Like, Dragonite's cool, Mewtwo, Mew, the Legendary Birds, and the Starters. That's about it. Everything else is kind of an L. Not really a big fan. But even then, like, the Legendary Birds aren't that great either. Like, they're kind of just boring at this point. I don't know. I don't have, like, a massive fucking nostalgia boner for Gen 1. And even though that was, like, the first Pokemon games I played, and then I played Fire Red Leaf Green as well later on, they just, they never really, like, fucking stood out to me. Gen 3 was so much better. Like, Pokemon Ruby, and then I played Emerald. Like, bro, those games are top tier. And then Gen 4 came out, and that shit was just fucking fire, dude. I don't know. If I took Nostalgia out of the mix, I think I would go with Gen 3 as the best Pokemon generation. But with my own personal bias, I would say Gen 4 is my personal favorite. Like, I absolutely fucking love all of the starter Pokemon from Gen 3 and 4. But I think Gen 4 starters were just slightly better. Even though Blaziken's my favorite starter overall. DJ Aftershock of the 2, bullying is an intervention. Agreed. Yeah, no, it stops degeneracy. Dude, the Gen 2 starters are, like, some of the worst ever. Like, Cyndaquil... What is it? Chikorita and... What's the other fucker's name? Totodile? Like, they literally just look like Pokemon you would catch in the wild. They don't even have, like, that special, like, starter look to them. Where they look really OP. They just look really fucking weak. I don't know. Yeah, Lugia is alright, but it doesn't save that generation in my mind. I would say, eh, I don't know. I hate Ho-Oh. I think Ho-Oh is like one of the worst designed Pokemon ever. It's incredibly boring. Alex with the 5, I still have all my NBA cards from the 90s, 2000s era. Do you think I should get those graded? I always enjoy your streams and videos, Griffin. Appreciate it, man. But it depends on condition and rarity. So what I would do, go through them, look for your, like, I guess, rare cards. I mean, I really know nothing about fucking sports or sports cards. So I would go through, look and see if you can find anything you think might be valuable. Then just look up the values and then kind of appraise the condition on your own. And then kind of determine if you think it'd be worth grading them or not. But that's kind of a, that's kind of a tough question because... Most sports cards, like 99.9% .9 of them, are worth absolutely nothing. It's only like the chase cards that people want.
Yeah, my two favorite, like, I guess, mascot legendaries are probably Palkia and Groudon. If we're counting, like, individual generations. I would say overall my top three legendaries is Palkia, Giratina, and Groudon. Top five add-on Rayquaza and... Um... Let's go with Lugia. I think Lugia is pretty good. Actually, no. Take off Lugia. Zekrom. I like Zekrom better. I think he looks cooler. Reese and Craig with the two. Gen 1 fossils weren't my favorite. Wait, were my favorite. Amastar and Kabutops. Yeah, Kabutops was cool. He was pretty cool. But my favorite overall Pokemon is Mew. Hands fucking down. That is my favorite Pokemon. Always has been. Always probably will be. But yeah, he's the fucking homie, bro. I love Mew. choose the white dragon that controls weather or the l wait the lgbt bird um that's pokemon silver and gold basically man i don't know like lugia is a pretty cool design like i love my lugia card i have lugia ex bro that's just fire but, i don't know lugia is not my favorite Yeah, I have a very strong dislike of Charizard. I'm not a fan of him at all. I think he's the most generic starter from Gen 1. Like, Venusaur and Blastoise are just such cooler designs than- Oh, shit, dude. An orange dragon. Wow. Like, bro, you literally have a fucking turtle with cannons coming out of its back. In, like, this weird fucking frog, plant, hybrid thing. Like, I don't even know what the fuck Venusaur is. But then you just have Charizard. Oh, orange dragon. <laughs> like, it's literally the most generic of the three. I don't know. Like, I get that's what most people pick, so they have, like, the fucking raging nostalgia boner. But I just think from a design standpoint, Charizard is extremely fucking mediocre. I have never done a single playthrough of Gen 1 where I've picked a Charizard. Available. Like, you want to talk about, like, a cool fire starter? Like, Blaziken was a fucking dope fire starter. Like, a f like massive fighting bird chicken. Like, thing. I don't even know, man. Like, a flaming... Like, a fire-type bird chicken. Like, <laughs> I don't even fucking know, dude. It's just the design was pretty crazy. Like, that's a cool fire starter. Or, like, Infernape was cool. But Charizard? Eh. Not a fan. Griffin XC with the 729. Elena Pierce loves Charizard. So RDNL? Agreed. That's just like the fucking normie twin. Yeah, bro, my favorite Pokemon's Charizard. Damn, man. Crazy.
Reese to Craig with the two of your favorites, Femboy Mewtwo and Stocky. I mean, bro, did you seen those fucking thighs? God damn. Arcanine's better than Charizard? Agreed. I think he looks way cooler. Two zones incoming. Bro, even some shit like fucking Magmortar looks way cooler than Charizard. And the reason why I also don't like Charizard is like in his own fucking game, there's literally a replacement for him. Like, that's what I always thought the starters were supposed to be, is like these unique combinations of types. Or like a Pokemon that you normally wouldn't find that powerful, but like literally in Gen 1 you can get fucking Moltres. You do not need Charizard in that game. At all. Same fucking type. I don't know, part of me likes the fact that people love Charizard because all of Charizard's cards are like really fucking powerful. Or not powerful, really expensive. So it's like I have no emotional attachment to Charizard whatsoever. So if I get one graded, I have no issue selling it. Like I don't feel any hesitation in cashing the fuck in. But I would probably say my favorite, like, Pokemon aside from Mew is probably Palkia, bro. I fucking love Palkia. That is, like, one of the coolest legendary designs ever. I don't know why, but I really fucking like Palkia. Then Giratina would probably be my other one, but in origin form. But, yeah. Dude, I fucking love Palkia. One of the coolest, like, designs. Who uses a legendary on their team? Um, literally 99% of people who play fucking Pokemon. Why the fuck would they put legendaries in the game if you're not supposed to use them? Like, the fuck? That's like saying, who the fuck catches Mewtwo and actually uses him? Like, uh, everybody? Why the fuck would you not use Mewtwo in your team or any legendary in your team? The fuck are you talking about? The whole reason of being able to capture legendary Pokemon is for you to put them in your team. You're a big Mewtwo guy? I see you're a fan of the thighs. I can respect that. You know, he do got some thick ones. 